Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing first person shooter remake Rise of the Triad. Uh, it's basically a remake of the game that was the supposed to be a sequel to uh, Wolfenstein 3D until Doom came out and they wanted to promote that more. Uh, so we'll just launch into the single player. Single player comes with a four episode campaign of linear levels. I am very terrible at the game, so I've had actually god mode through uh, the first number of levels and I've gotten stuck a lot, so even though I've kind of logged some hours into it, I'm not very far, although I'm not really expecting too much difference uh, later on uh, in the campaign. You can pick between five characters, which basically trades off speed for endurance, so I'll kind of pick the, the guy right here that's not quite slow, but pretty close to it. Uh, the game's levels rely on a lot of old-school mechanics, such as keys and switches and locked doors and stuff like that, uh, and really dumb AI, as you'll see. Uh, the weapons start out, uh, you can have dual pistols and uh, kind of a submachine gun here that all have unlimited ammo that you don't have to reload, which is really interesting. Uh, and then there's also a whole bunch of different types of uh, rocket launchers and fire launchers and little magical staffs and a baseball bat that throws exploding baseballs, obviously. Uh, but all those things were basically, uh, you know, in the original game. So you basically just progress through the level and shoot who you see and uh, try to reach the end. So away we go. You also have these little, you know, things to jump over to try to get the weapons, which I'm going to try to do here. Put a smile on anyone's face. Yeah, it has a lot of cheesy dialogue. All right, so this is a little. Well, you'll see. All right, I'll figure out which way to go here. Hello. Nope, not that way. Oh, here we go. There's a lot of locked doors and whatnot. So. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Don't really want that, but I think you don't have a choice. There's these little power-ups. Oh, there we go. I can escape it. That, you know, affect your behavior and stuff. And it keeps score, which is interesting. Uh, unlike a lot of games of the ilk. You know, contemporary games don't really keep score as much these days. Duck under that. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh. Because the roof is collapsing. Alright then. Uh, as you'll see, especially when we jump online, the game is, isn't exactly the most polished experience in the world. Uh, so I'm just going to restart this level. <laughs> um, you'll run into, like, especially with like physics, which isn't really that big of a deal because it doesn't impact the game too much. Um, you know, physics stuff with like characters bouncing around and whatever. So let's do what we did before. At least you put a smile on uh, Indeed it will. As you said the first time. Oh yeah, that's right, don't go up here. Go this way. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, I'm actually supposed to go this way. Yeah, there we go. Little pushy puzzles. There we go. Shit, Alright, who wants to get shot? Anyone? Anyone? Oop, there's a gold key. There's like no enemies around. Not that way. On the way out. Hmm, locked. Apparently, everybody's on vacation. No, well, none of these doors seem to work. This is why I, uh. Oh, there we go. Switch. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, I tend to get stuck and frustrated pretty easily. Oh god. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh. And frustrated and whatnot. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Yeah, I guess I gotta go after that, don't I? Maybe. Oh, I gotta get all four of them? Seriously? Jumpy puzzles. Ow. Switch. Oh, I have to go back the other way. Yeah. Another switch. Oh. I guess we should have included a tutorial on. Yeah. Here, let's pick a different level with actual enemies you can shoot. Go back to the main menu. And, you know, there's a little, you know, platform type stuff there, which is perfectly fine. Now I'll just go back in the first part of the episode here. Pick a different person. This is more speed than endurance. Would have been better to have a better speed guy. The movement speed is really fast in the game. Took the uh, first couple levels, honestly, to get kind of used to it. Okay. How's it going? So, uh, the AI is, you know, kind of run straight for you. Like that. Like you said, you have unlimited ammunition for the bullet weapons. Uh, so you can just kind of unload on everybody that way. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Well, I'll take your gun. Yep. There is dog mode, as you can see. Can dogs change the switches? <laughs> yes, they can. Dogs are smart. <laughs> Pretty funny. Mm. Hello. Oh, darn it. There's another, uh... Yep, sort of bug <laughs> in the map. Restart the last checkpoint. Get to play it again. Okay, I will. Hi. You know, they'll, the enemies will pop out of doors and stuff like that, but they won't, like, randomly appear behind you very often. Which is kind of nice, so it's not, like, totally unfair that they sneak up behind you and stuff. And I'm gonna not be the dog this time. There's little health things you can pick up and little jump platforms. And little gold pieces you can do to increase your score. Those guys will do the little roll move. Get some. Okay. There. Gore level is high. I, I gotta hit that switch. As you can see. Oh. Yeah, they'll steal your weapons, which is uh, kind of annoying, to say the least. Yeah, because they run right past me to their scripted location. Come on out. Uh, the graphics are nice, though. Uh, obviously, you know, other than the completely unnecessary gore level. 
you know, the environments are pretty varied that I've seen uh, and detailed. Makes good use of the engine. Oh, hi, gentlemen. There we go. Lose something? Ha 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 ha. Alright. Gotta get the gold key in here. I believe it's upstairs. Memory serves. Oh. Not feeling so hot on health. Gold key and Let's nice walk. little weapon. Hi. Heat-seeking missile. Where's that gold door? I'm just gonna go this way. Oh yeah, I need it for the... This is like a little mini bus. There's boss battles. Stuff to you, as you'll see in about two seconds here. Guten Tag. Ah. Oh, there you go. Said, not very good. <laughs> not very good at the uh, single player. So, I mean, that's basically, you know, there's some uh, items and stuff you can run into, and armor against bullets and fire. Uh, little wings that'll let you fly in the dog mode, like you saw. Uh, and like God mode, invincibility, and stuff like that. So, and it it basically recycles a lot of the stuff from the original game. Uh, you know, the level design is pretty linear. Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, even on easy, I wasn't really able to make much progress without turning to cheats and making myself invincible for the whole time. So, but uh, you know, it's a very old school shooter. You know, lots of you know enemies to shoot not really much planning to do and stuff like that so uh, that's single player we'll go on to the multiplayer multiplayer features uh, deathmatch team deathmatch and capture the flag so I'll just join a match here and shoot anything that moves um, online is okay got it at the beginning of the match uh, I think it keeps Four, starting it over when a new person joins the server. There we go. Oh, hey. Let me start out with the crappy pistol. Um, the movement speed... I think I'm a dog now. Uh, makes the game pretty laggy online. Mm -hmm. I just gotta find somebody for this and runs out. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> Dogs wearing armor, sure, why not? Uh, plus the... whenever you get like a rocket weapon, it's like so overpowered compared to everything else. Yeah. That, uh... You know, you're basically in deep trouble until you get a weapon, which is kind of the way it was, okay. you know, back with, in the Quake days and stuff. You know, there's no persistence or any nonsense like that, so let's pick up the weapons. I want that rocket launcher. So, you know, you got to kind of memorize the maps and stuff. <laughs> and hopefully find people that have worse weapons than you do. But you can see because of the movement speed, it's almost impossible to hit stuff. Uh, which is another reason why the rocket weapons kind of are superior to everything else. Yeah. Behind me. You know, it's pretty much, although there are dedicated servers, most of the games online right now are peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, so, uh, you know, 16 players is kind of the maximum of what any one person can support while they're playing it. 
And because you don't need to reload with the bullet weapons, the one thing that they do have, except unless you have the pistol, of course, but um, is that you can just hold down the trigger and just keep firing. Pistol makes it. Give me something. Give me something. And yeah, there we go. 20 kills. I had zero. But I didn't have the most deaths. So that's, uh, that's something. He looks very excited. You see the level design, it's good. Combat starts here. Yeah, Five, detailed. Four, three, two, one. I'm with that gun. Somebody's got a rocket launcher and they're not afraid to use it. Yeah, there we go. That's the little five burst rocket launcher that you're basically in trouble with if somebody has. Yeah, platforms moved. I need a gun. You stole the gun. And now I'm dead. Oh good, yellow swag. Awesome. Yeah, there's no reload. I can just hold down the trigger. Oh. And I still die. Because he has the crazy fire weapon. That was unfortunate. I'm not very good at the multiplayer either. You can even kill the guy that's away from the keyboard. Everybody finds the rockets except for me. Machine gun. Hey, I got somebody. Are we going to twenty? No, oh, we'll see. Hi. It would be a little bit more balanced if it took only a couple bullets. Oh, there we go. Alright. Well, there we go. That's Rise of the Triad. So, you know, basically the campaign has pretty linear levels. Decidedly old school, you know, format with secret areas and keys to unlock doors and switches and to keep, keep score. Uh, it only saves your progress at checkpoints, so you can't save it any time. Uh, but 
the levels are short enough, like if you actually do good and don't die very often, it'll take 5-10 minutes per level usually. Um, and the different characters just give you different speed or endurance differences, which are so minor, it's almost not even noticeable. Uh, the multiplayer, you know, deathmatch, team deathmatch, capture the flag. Uh, there's a map editor, so you might see community maps in the future. There's no cooperative play for the campaign, and multiplayer is pretty laggy at the moment, I think, due to the fast movement speed. It's almost impossible to hit anything, which makes the rocket weapons far more uh, useful and effective uh, when you're playing online. Uh, you know, good. other than that good selection of weapons, you get unlimited ammo with the bulleted weapons. You know, you get your submachine gun, you get a bunch of crazy missiles that can, you know, and four-directional rocket propelled grenades that'll dive bomb to the ground and uh, you know a magic baseball bat uh, and a bunch of different items like the dog mode you saw and health and armor and stuff like that. Enemies exhibit some different behaviors but uh, they're pretty limited uh, in their intelligence which is probably by design to be honest uh, and the environmental obstacles like the little platforms and the you know, blades and all that stuff requires some dexterity to get around. Uh, you know, it's certainly different than the contemporary military shooter, which dominates the first-person shooter market these days. And some people like the retro style, uh, but for me it's a little bit too archaic uh, and too unpolished to be really that enjoyable. So, uh, that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.